Well, the death penalty trial has begun for convicted Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz. Cruz pleaded guilty for killing 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School back in 2018. And now, after nearly three months of jury selection, 12 jurors will decide whether he will get life in prison or be put to death. ABC News contributor and managing partner the Cochran firm, Shauna Lloyd, also ABC News contributor and former NYPD chief of detectives, Robert Boyce, joining me now for more on this. So Shauna, let's talk about what we can expect to happen in court today. What you can expect to happen is we're going to see the state put forth all the reasons that each of these particular victims had as aggravating factors, things that made this crime um, aggravated and worse than what it was charged, and will show that they should and they are warranted the death penalty in this particular trial. The, de the defense is going to have a broader case. What you're going to see them put forth are mitigating factors. Mitigating factors are factors that should be taken into consideration as to why this does not warrant the death penalty. Each side will make their case to the jury. All right, so Bob, the jurors uh, chosen for this trial will now visit this blood-stained crime scene through graphic photos, videos. They're going to listen to intense emotional testimony. Clearly, it's important for jurors to see and hear this because it will impact the decisions that they make. It is. And uh, it's, it's, been, it's remained intact, the school, uh, as it was with the bloodstains, as exactly as you said. Um, things around the school, frozen in time all these years later. So it's it's really going to be interesting to see what the what the mindset of the jurors see, and exactly uh, all the things, the planning that this man did prior to going in, uh, his ang his anger and all these things will factor in. But that that crime scene that they walked through, all the the evidence of the shooting of uh, of the individuals who were lost, all that goes into the jury's mind, and it's going to be tough tough to, to sort through for them. So Shauna, for Cruz to receive the death penalty, the jury clearly has to be unanimous on this. The defense is hoping for life in prison with no possibility of parole. So what do you think could happen here? Because mental illness clearly is going to play into this. And how do you think it'll play out? I mean, we have a number of polarizing issues, right? We have mental illness that is definitely going to come into play. We have the death penalty itself. These are topics and, and concepts that jurors typically struggle with. So what we're going to see, however, though, is that they get to actually experience and see what was happening from the victim standpoint. And I think that's going to have a really significant impact on our jurors. All right, Sean and Bob, thank you both so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.